Okay, how's my audio sounding? Can y'all hear me? How are things looking? Let me get a little bit of me in here. Ah, there I am. Hi guys. Can you hear me? Is everything good? Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna turn down the music a tiny bit. There we go. Hi, hi guys. Oh, this is great. Very happy to be in here with you. Um, my, a, a lot of my stats are off right now. <laughs> um, okay, so the reason is because I actually just made, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Twitch affiliate. I actually just got Twitch affiliate. Come back, where's my camera going? There we go. I just made Twitch affiliate status, which is very thrilling, super excited. Um, I actually can't believe that this happened so fast. So I'm really, really excited. But part of being a Twitch affiliate or signing up for that is that you have to set up two-factor authentication. I did not know that it was going to log me out of everything. So that's why it took me a couple minutes to get everything reconnected. But I'm not seeing the chat box come up up here, which is a little worrisome, but that also seems to happen every damn stream. Where'd my chat box go? because I want you guys to show up on the VOD because you deserve it. Let me see, get y'all back in the little box. I wonder if I'll have to do this for every single stream. <laughs> okay, there we go. The audio is crispy, thank you very much. It's my, it's, it's thanks to my, my Blue Yeti microphone. It's one that a lot of ASM artists use actually. <laughs> um, Okay, I can X out of that because I got the, the stuff over there. Okay, I think I'm all set up. Um, thanks to Streamlabs fucking up, I will at no point know um, how many people are in the chat. So, I think we're over 10. I don't know. So, <laughs> uh, crispy and crunchy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, today, you probably know why I've gathered you all here today. It is for the sake of of monster fucking i have let me get to the desktop view i have made a tier list that i am very excited to rate these monsters with it is a massive fucking list so i have up let me go into 
There we go. It's a little bigger. Um, I have 51 <laughs> monsters. Apparently, I have rated a total of 51 monsters in this series on TikTok. Um, and I added, in case I somehow do get through all of those monsters during this stream, I have added 10 bonus monsters, which have been frequently requested and a couple that were commented. So, um, I think I'm going to... Yeah, okay. Do you see the TikTok I sent you, stinky little man? <laughs> no, I didn't, Cheyenne. I haven't seen him yet. Um, what if I went live on TikTok up there? And then I had the laptop camera on down here. That actually probably would be a good idea. Let me set that up real quick. I'm going to put it in so that it has a different camera on. Actually, it may not let me do that. I'm determined. I'm very determined to. Um, well, the quality may go down. If I streamed a little longer, I could have rated you. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to turn out my ring light a little bit. Oh. Honestly, I'm content with that. I think I will. I think I will keep that. So I'm going to add that one. Oh, I'm huge. I am big. Hello. I'll pop that bad boy on in there. I get to show you guys a little bit of behind the curtain. Gonna, gonna lift that up for you a little bit. Which also happens every stream. See, now it looks shitty. See, I'm an, I'm an honest streamer. I'm an honest streamer. I'll show you all the bullshit that you're not supposed to see. Delightful. And there we go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get that shit back on TikTok. I've never tried to do this. A lot of those uh, people I really like um, who are Twitch streamers and TikTokers do that where they'll have like the TikTok live up there and then the other one down here. And I just think that's nifty. Um, there we go. Okay. Monster fuckers live. I don't think TikTok will let me put monster fuckers in the title. I appreciate your honesty. Thank you very much, dear Connor Murphy. Um, not me lagging profusely. Let me know if you're the one lagging or if I'm the one lagging because I don't want that to be something that I could be fixing and I'm not. Let me get that lighting a little better. There we go. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna flip that bad boy. Go live up there. Ah! Catastrophe. I'm gonna do it. I'm determined, guys. My Twitch followers go through so much for my sake. You guys just get the really rough, nasty edges of the beginning stream. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Finally. Are you winning, sons? The on screen chats have switched off again. God damn it. This is horrible. Okay. Let me see. Where did it go? How does this happen every single stream? Okay. Hi, TikTok people. Um, I'm not really going to be reading that chat so much, so if you want to come. Join in on the fun. Uh, I'm on Twitch doing Stevie and the Monster Fuckers live. Um, where is that Twitch box? There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. There it is. Okay. Got the chat box back up. Um, I feel like I should have put up a sign for the TikTok people saying to, to come watch me on Twitch. Um, because... You guys will not be able to see anything I'm looking out of the computer if you don't come join. Um, so, I'm going to focus on my Twitch friends down here. So, let's get started with our fancy, fancy tier list. So, first, got to move my monitors a tiny bit. There we go. I am going to introduce you to all of our tiers. So, 
Tier zero is unfuckable or illegal in real life <laughs> um, because a lot of you submitted ones that were um, impractical or uh, uh, maybe illegal. So you wouldn't be adding last minute monsters, would you? Unfortunately, I can't get new ones on the tier list now because then I'd have to like find the image, download it, change the whole thing. This tier making website is very, very picky. So I do not know. Um, I do not know if everything would be destroyed if I did try to add monsters last minute. So, um, tier zero is unfuckable or illegal. Tier one is I will kill both of us if you come on to me. Two is can't think about it without vomiting in my mouth a little. Did you add Clank? Cheyenne, I did try to add Clank from the KFC dating sim and I could not find a single Google image of him because it's a very, very underrated, um, a very underrated game, I think. So next to no one, actually no one, no one had any pictures of Clank for me to use. Cause I was going to, y'all know I was going to put Clank in here. Um, but alas, I could not do so. Um, tier three is bro, stop you, what the fuck? So not as much discussed as it could be, but definitely not thrilled. Tier four is, <laughs> There's a vague amount of intrigue here, but I don't want to admit it. I was going to make that a little bit worse, and then I realized that a lot of the fours uh, in the videos I made already were very complimentary. Like, I would give them a four if I did kind of want to get with them. So, four is a vague amount of intrigue. Five is, okay, wait. <laughs> um, those are, we're really halfway. We're really halfway. Um, six is, if you gave me a coy look from across the cafeteria, I'd blush. So we're really getting there in terms of, um, of how much I want to, I want to get with you. Tier seven is I'd go out of my way to get your number. Eight is God, I really, really want you to like me back. Nine is this is getting unhealthy. All I do is write fanfic about us all day long. And tier 10, of course, is, oh God, oh God, yes. Let me get in there. So, time to get cooking. All of the ones I'm doing first are ones that have been covered in videos before, but the problem is that every single time I go back and review those videos, I always think it's going to be higher than it actually is. Like, a lot of, th that's why I did the Monster Fuckers Revisited, because I was kind of thinking about it like, so a lot of these should have gotten higher scores. A lot of them. Um, so that's why I wanted to come on here and do this with you guys because a lot of people had very strong opinions about the monsters I did. <laughs> um, so I figured it would be uh, a good idea for me to come on and discuss. So let me take a look at my list. So rated monsters, I have the monster and then I have what their rating was. For the ones that I revisited in today's video, I did put their new rating. Um, but pretty much all of them, I am open to debating with you. So. Uh, TikTok folks, hello to all of you who are just joining. Uh, if you'd like to toss in on the discussion, come join us in Twitch because then you'll be able to see the tier list and everything we're doing. Um, that link is in my bio. It's the fourth link down on my link tree. And then you can see the tier list and you can hop in on the discussion. Hello, Poggers Catboy. Hi. Um, I am having so much fun already. I'm so excited. Hey, I just saw that someone said they wrote a fanfic about Boris Johnson. Do you care to explain? No? Hmm. Much to think about. <laughs> I do not respect you. <laughs> okay. So, I am going to hop right in with Vision, who I gave a 10 out of 10 for my sweet, sweet robot boy. And honest to God, I'm wondering... Hello! I'm glad you came for the TikTok live! Hi! Can we give you new suggestions? Once I get through the ones that are already here, if we get through them in time, we can address new suggestions um, because there are about 10 bonus ones that people have frequently requested already. So I, I would love to be able to also do some with you guys. It just, it's a pain to edit the list. <laughs> um, so for vision, I originally rated him a 10 out of 10. And I don't want to say that that's too high for him. You said you give this man a seven. Vision is not attractive. I wish you'd shut the fuck up. So let me discuss Vision. The reason I rated him so high is definitely, well, in part because of the daddy issues. Um, no, it's just because of the daddy issues. <laughs> um, 
I really, really love this man um, because I think I can project onto him really well. Where did he go? Also, telling these pictures apart is very difficult. Um, I had originally put him in 10, but I feel like he's not even that high for me anymore. I don't think he's a, I don't think he's a, oh God, oh God, yes, let me get in there. I feel like I would put him at like, God, I really, really want you to like me back. Um, I don't think I'd write, I don't think I'd be at the point of writing fanfic about him. I think he could err on the side of boring. Poggers Catboy, I think you're right. I think I'm going to put Vision at an 8. I'm a little bit disappointed. Vision's a solid 11. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sad that I'm rating him lower, but I really feel like I don't want to bang in that. Okay, I should clarify. This list is not about love. This is about horny. That's it. That is it. I want to, I would marry this man, but... I feel like I'm still just at an eight with him because this is not a list about love. So, oh, you're talking about the human one, the human version. Yeah, no. So this is an exclusively non-human list. So that is robots. That is um, monsters. Few people have tossed in animals and animatronics, which is distressing. Okay, but Ultron could hit, right? Ultron is the one who started this whole series. Ultron, yes, Ultron could. <laughs> I would put Ultron at a nine. I would. Evil, I think, is sexy. So I would I would definitely put Ultron at a 9. Um, what is next up? I, I'm comfortable to keep Vision at an 8 right now. 70s Vision with the glasses. Vision is the most vanilla man I've ever seen in robot form. You're right and you should say it. Um, I'm going to strike that one off the list. Rodney Copperbottom was a very contentious topic. Rodney Copperbottom, I gave him a 2. Because I do not see this man as attractive. I cannot find him. We are literally ranking non-humans on how you want to shag them. Um, yeah. Yeah, we are. Um, where did Rodney go? Where'd I put him? Oh, there he is. Um, I initially rated Rodney at a two. Which, on this list, is can't think about it without vomiting in my mouth a little. And I... I feel bad because I feel like he doesn't deserve that much. I feel like at worst, probably just like a three bro stop you with the fuck. Like he's like really close to just like indignance. I really do not vibe with him that much. I don't see the appeal. I never saw the movie and I even watched the, I watched a clip of his voice because apparently that's where a lot of the appeal comes from, but I still could not really get behind it. I don't know. I feel like five because of personality queer coding every villain like they didn't make more people ungay they just gave every people every gay person degradation king yeah you're right and you should say it i there's not a lot of meat on those bones he's just oh the villain robots as in the mean one i don't know who you're referring to give me a name and I'll, I'll look it up but i don't i don't know who you're referring to the hottest in the film yeah okay i don't even want to talk about ronnie's fucking awful he's probably musty no <laughs> I would like to confront the fact that the villain from Osmosis Jones was so fine. That man was so fine. And for what? What was his name? He was like that evil virus and he was very attractive, which I was not ready to confront at 13 years old. The villain robot. Can someone give me his name? Because I don't. Okay, fine. I'll look it up. Um, uh, villain from the movie Robots. The fit one is called Ratchet. Him? Oh! Okay. 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 No, he's a little bit... Yeah. Yeah. I would... Yeah. I don't want to watch a whole clip because I don't want to get copyright stricken, but that's... That's intriguing. <laughs> He looks like Hawk Moth. Oh, he does. Oh my god, you're right. He does. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. What about Pitch Black from The Guardians? Yes. I. What I'm scared of is that once this list is put together, you're going to see that I have a very specific type. And I'm not ready to confront that. But I will deal with that when I deal with it. Um, Pitch Black is, is fine as hell, though. I'd probably put him at like a... Um, I'd put him at like a six or a seven, probably a six. Are you going to talk about George Lopez and Sharkboy and Lava Girl? You want to know a secret? I've never seen Sharkboy and Lava Girl. I know it's a classic. I've never seen it. Can you believe that shit? It's crazy. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Who's next? I'm leaving Rodney Copperbottom at a three. I'm sorry. 
Um, GLaDOS. Oh my god. The source of such contention. The mechanical MILF. I rated her a 1 in my very first video. I would like to make a formal apology for doing that. I did not understand. I have since changed my mind. In today's video, I bumped her up to a 5. Um, I feel like that's... Yeah, that's okay, wait. Okay. Because GLaDOS, I know that her human form is much more attractive. I've seen that. I've seen the fan art. Very hot. Looks like a lady. Whatever. The problem is that in game, she's not a human. You know what I mean? So, based on what we're given in game, I am still going to stick her at tier 5. Okay, wait. Because I feel like, excuse me, there's, there's, a, lot of, there's a lot to be desired. But I, I am intrigued, and I'll admit it. Glad us a seven easy. What do you mean? What, you'd go out of your way to get her number. How how is she gonna give you her digits? She doesn't. She doesn't have. She doesn't have hands. How's she gonna give you the digits? No. Technically, the lady in the portrait with cave is most likely Glad us a human. So I also need y'all to know that most of the the franchises that I'm rating creatures from, I have not seen. So I am just shooting off the cuff from here. Like I do not know. Where does she go? Ah, there's Glad us. I'm gonna put her at. Tier 5. Is that a Teletubby? Yeah, yeah. Let, let's jump ahead a little. Tinky Winky was requested. Tinky Winky was requested. Anonymously. It was not in my comment section. Someone in the Google form submitted Tinky fucking Winky. I feel like that should be a crime. That's one of the bonus ones that I wasn't ready to get to yet. But you know what? Let's talk about it. I feel like that's illegal. I, I straight up Post the hotter one. No. Jail. I will block you. I will block you. I, I know. I feel like that's illegal. Like, we're not giving an age range for the, for the Teletubbies. Okay, whatever. But the coward for being anonymous. I know. I'm literally just going to put Tinky Winky at a tier zero. I will, like, unfuckable. Or illegal. And I don't want to risk it Be I don't know. I don't know. GLaDOS is the ultimate daddy issues degradation game. <laughs> she locks you in a torture maze and controls you the whole time? Intriguing. Uh, what about daddy pig? I wish y'all would shut up. Isn't he like eight feet? That's horrifying. And I also hate that you phrase that as if it's like a reason to still have a crush on him. I hate that. Jail. I'm now, I'm making a block list right now. Is Shrek be looking good there? I wish you'd shut up. Oh my god. You are derailing me and I am angry. Moving on, uh, Torlai or Torlee from Monster High, I am not sure which, uh, I'm not sure how you say it. I rated her an eight. Um, honestly, I think I'd probably rate her a seven. Monster Girls are super cute, but, like, I feel like I would, like, um, I feel like I'd smooch her, feel like give her a little smooch, but I don't really know how attached I am, um, to the idea of getting with her. So, I think in the picture I got of her, I think her head got cut. It did! <laughs> it's so sad! It, no matter which picture I, I picked, it would not format correctly. So, that is just her body, and I would like to formally apologize. Um, I feel like I'd go out of my way to get her number, um, but I, I don't think I'd get so, so hung up on her. Although, I feel like she would bully me a little bit, which is kind of cute. I'm stuck on a fucking Teletubby. Oh my god. Hey, Poggers Catboy has the pan flag hung up. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't have a whole lot to say about Torlai. I never really saw the Monster High series, and Monster Girls are kind of universally acknowledged as being adorable. So, not really hung up on it. Catra, I know she's not on the list yet, or she's not... I don't have her picture in here yet. So many people have requested Catra. I am very close to feeling like it's cheating a little bit, because she is so close to being human. <laughs> Like, she is so very humanoid that I feel like that's cheating. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but Catra, her immaturity annoyed me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like I would still get her number. I still feel like I'd put her at a seven. Uh, oh my god. Not, not Five Nights at Freddy's. So this was also a much requested topic. I am not even going to divide up all the animatronics. Because I do not want to, I don't want a hundred different submissions of people suggesting every single goddamn animatronic. I just, I don't want to do that. I don't. So, I took the submission that said, 
just all the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics. Um, yeah. See, that's a good point. There's just kids in there. So I don't want to talk to a single motherfucking bitch who thinks that they would be attractive. Um, even if you pretend like they're not and you just like the animatronic suits, that's creepy as hell. They only want to kill you also, plus that's illegal. Exactly. So I feel like there's just so much going on there. So I am just going to put this at rest. I do not, even if they didn't have dead kids inside, that is just creepy looking animatronics. I am not into it at all. There is literally nothing humanoid about that at all. And I, I'm not, no. Tier zero. Tier fucking zero. Absolutely not. Um, you are a single penguin. Kowalski is on this list. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kowalski is on that list. Uh, when I learned to shift, I'm gonna shift to the M&M world and have sex with all of them. <laughs> right? them. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> um, also, the important thing about the FNAF ones is that it was literally just unrated rage a couple of these got that including shrek i think i i did not even give them a rating in the video because it ended with me just like yelling like i didn't even rate it but it is a, a solid zero um the tiger from zootopia <laughs> um i gave him an eight in my original video god he's so fine <laughs> i wish he wasn't but he is um Oh my god, I originally rated him. At, god, I really, really want you to like me back. That's embarrassing. But honestly, he stays there. I would still... I still want... The, the tiger that appeared in one scene with no lines? Yes. He appeared in one frame of a scene. He's hot. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, I'm not a furry, but god damn. He's fine as hell. I'm sorry. I love that fucking meme of that one tiger from Zootopia who would treat me right. I just think he looks like Captain America. What are you talking about? What are you talking? I am a furry and goddamn. Y'all are great. Not the furries that are popping out right now. Cheyenne, you'd be surprised at the number of furries that follow me, except given the series that I've just launched, I don't think you'd be surprised anymore. Um, but listen, I welcome everyone. I, I'm, I'm very thrilled. Um, the monster fucker community has a large overlap with the furry community. And honestly, tea. <laughs> So, cross off the tiger from Zootopia. He gets to stay. Um, I don't know what the Twitch chat is saying. I think someone just... Uh, I actually just talked about Catra. So, if you want to see my rating of Catra, you can catch this VOD on YouTube later. Um, but I did actually rate Catra a little earlier in this stream. Um, Wally. Okay. I originally rated Wally a zero. Because I was under the impression that he was too childlike. I just did not feel that good about it. He is canonically like 700 years old. <laughs> so I feel like it's fine. I'm going to give him a three because I feel like while he's just sitting at, at bro stop you, what the fuck? Because I don't, I don't want to get with him, but I'm not going to kill him. I feel like I would like turn him down sweetly because he does not know what's going on. I don't think Wally can't talk and doesn't look like he could do much for you. Uh, yes, exactly. He's cute, but it feels wrong. I I feel like he, I feel like Wally <laughs> is ace. I I feel like him and Eve are just gonna like smooch and hold hands and that's it. I don't exactly not very fuckable. Um, it does fall into that anime trope of she's two hundred years old but looks like a kid. Exactly. So I just do not. Darth Vader is basically a human. Stop requesting people who are just magical humans. I will not rate them. <laughs> um, Wally would hold your hand, but that's it. Um, where did he go? I really don't want to... I'm not going to kill him because I'm not going to, like, vomit over him because he's not, like, abominable. But, like, I just don't feel right about it. So, he's sitting at a three. Just, bro, stop. What the fuck? Like, I'm not... No. No. Not like that. Not like that. Um... Well, he can crush out your trash. Does the Goblin King from Labyrinth count? Oh, I wish it did. The fact that you have mentioned this in front of me and God and everyone, when that was the man who started my awakening in high school? Unjust. I, I'm not even, I don't even think I'm a Kinney, but if I were, if I were, Jareth. Jareth from Labyrinth. Period. Um... Yeah, I just, I, 
I'm keeping Wally where he is. Although I feel bad about having him next to Rodney, but so far it's just two robots in that tier. <laughs> um, don't worry, there are fuckable robots later, I believe. Um, General Grievous, now we are spicing it up. So I initially rated this man a seven. Um, I'd go out of my way to get your number. But the problem is that I know he's higher. I know General Grievous is going to be rated higher by me. Where did he go? He's over there. Oh my god. I legitimately am feeling like level 9. This this is getting unhealthy. All I do is write fanfic about us all day long. And I'm embarrassed. But yes. His voice especially. Yes. Transmask culture is wanting to date the Goblin King and wanting to be him at the same time. Exactly. Do I like women or is that repressed gender envy? Have you seen Grievous without his armor? No, I haven't. I feel like I'm going to be freaked out, but I'll look it up just for you. Without mask. Oh, okay. Is this him? Grievous unmasked? No, I mean, honestly, my opinion stays the same. I wish I could say my opinion is changing. I, because I do not engage with this franchise like at all. I literally just thought he was like a robot dude, but he was like that. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not, I'm no coward. Yeah, he gets a nine. He gets a nine. Um, I really, aliens are hot. I like the consensus that's happening in the chat right now. Grievous is a cyborg. He doesn't have a mask. Oh, okay. It's like part of his skin. Okay. Um, Cheyenne, you do not get to shame me for being openly horny whenever that was the whole premise of this stream. The whole premise, the show is called Stevie and the Monster Fuckers for a reason. Okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, Grievous is a nine. Is that embarrassing? Yes. Will I change it? Um, no. Also, if it was embarrassing, I probably would, like, not stream this in front of God and everyone, but unfortunately, eh. Eh, I am. Um, Minotaur, oh, also the ones that have links below are the ones that are by specific artists or websites um, that aren't just like screen caps straight from the movie or show. Um, so it's Minotaur, it's from CFZ Australia. The uh, Octopus Mermaid one is from an artist named Karen E. Haley on Redbubble, so I did want to credit them. Um, but the Minotaur, I rated a seven. Where is that? That's a werewolf. That's the beast. Why do all these look the same? Ah, there's the Minotaur. Oh my god. I wish I wasn't so horny for this particular version of the Minotaur. Let's get a closer look at that. That man? Yes. Yes. I love him. I love him very, very much. I just think he's beautiful. The genie seems like he'd be a wealthy capitalist who low-key likes to emotionally mess with me, but he needs security and trust issues. Are you insane? The genie's absolutely an anarchist. Did you even watch the fucking movie? No. Genie is an anarchist. I am not gonna stand for this slander. That's bullshit. Do I wanna fuck him? Um, no, but I do wanna be besties with him and have, like, a sleepover. You know? Okay. I don't think he's beautiful. The Minotaur looks like you. I can't read that on stream. <laughs> he would- he would be good at aftercare. Uh, um, that's the intrigue. Um, I'm sure our monster choices make our kings obvious. Yeah. Don't insult the genie by calling him a capitalist. You're right. You're right. Oh! Cheyenne! Goddamn. Um, you're right. And you should say it. Um, no, I'm braiding him higher. I really, really want him to write me back, to, to like me back. I really do. Oh my god. These monsters are about to make me act up. Genie looks like he'd cook me the best dinner and make my night amazing. I feel like he definitely would do, like, great dates. Just delightful dates. Um, anybody seen that Theseus sitting on a Minotaur statue? I have not, but I will Google it. You better not get me demonetized. <laughs> Theseus and the Minotaur statue. Statue. I can't spell. Images. Oh. 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 Okay. Is that what I'm looking for? Is this what I'm- Oh! 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 Uh, I need to get that off my stream. I'm gonna have to censor that later. Um, <laughs> that- Yes. That's, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Um, the dad- Oh my god. The fucking- 
The dab from Bambi. As you see here, it says, Unrated Rage. Because I ended the video yelling about that. So, that is illegal. Uh, first of all, I think what everyone's attracted to is his voice. And that is fair. But that is an animal. That is a- that is a deer. Like, I- That's a deer. So, um, alas, alas, he has to go at zero, unfuckable, because that is illegal. <laughs> yeah, but a hot deer. Shut up! It's not even anthropomorphic. See, that's where I really- that is where I really draw the line. Like, it has to be at least slightly anthropomorphic, because otherwise I'm- uh, you know? So. Um, Dad from Bambi gets a zero. Not even messing with it, not even touching it. Um, so, moving on from him. Oh no, god damn it! The fact that I said that, and then immediately I have to rate Scarf on The Lion King, who I rated an 11. Not an 11, an 8. Oh my god. I can't believe the hypocrisy just slapped me in the fucking face. I don't even want to confront this. I literally do not even want to discuss this. No! Everyone in chat is agreeing with me and that's the worst thing. I know! I know! I feel like a hypocrite. I feel like a false prophet. The moral line goes away when it comes to Scarf Mufasa. Let's rate an animal zero. Let's rate an animal an eight. I know. I know. I know. God damn it. Oh, an artist who drew them anthropomorphic wearing high five. Okay, I need to address as well that again, it is the personality and it is the overly humanoid mannerisms. The difference between Bambi and the Lion King obviously is that like Bambi is, I, I feel like they very much emphasize the, the nature-ness of it all. It takes place in nature. And I know that's also the case for Lion King, but it's literally a Shakespeare play performed by lions so i i feel like they they animate them or they write them rather in different ways so no 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 no. i'm not going i'm not trying to excuse his behavior because i'm i'm not going to rate him higher than a zero because he's an animal but i'm trying to explain shut up cheyenne i'm gonna demote you from being mod i threatened this at least once a stream but you're being mean to me i'm trying to explain where i think the attraction comes from i think it's because he's evil um, and gay bitches with trauma love evil people. Honestly, I was about to, like, add an addendum, but, like, most of the gay bitches I know, including the ones in this goddamn chat and in this goddamn live, um, are attracted to evil villains. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, I say, Scar is being bumped to a zero for legal reasons, and we will pretend like I did not ever rate him any differently uh oh my god this will piss me off lampy and the air conditioning from the brave little toaster um stevie b is corrupt and won't let shy speak yeah yeah um villains are always smash for gays he is also gay coded that is also part of the intrigue lampy pisses me off and so does the ac i just want to talk to whoever whoever recommended those because they are just they're just objects i've never seen that movie i don't think it was very successful i might be wrong i might be dumb but like not illegal just weird so this okay so not illegal i will like i literally just see them as unfuckable like, I'm realizing that nothing in here is a uh, can't think about it without vomiting in my mouth or I will kill <laughs> both of us if you come on to me. But, like, I don't know how to work with a lamp. I'm gonna, like, all 20th century Disney villains are queer codes and they're all hot. Yeah. Yeah. There was that guy who was in love with his car, Mechanophiliac. I know. Um. I can get behind objects if it's Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. God damn it, you're right! Why does Disney... Why does Disney do this? They don't have any sex appeal. Honestly, it's not illegal, so I am gonna put them at one, but one is still, I will kill both of us if you come on to me. So I think generally I'm, I'm keeping zero at, at 
illegal, um, but I, I would I would kill both of them. Except how would that even work for for a machine? I'm gonna unplug it. Yes, what's the difference between them and Clank? Um, Clank has a heart of gold and I haven't seen um, Brave Little Toaster, so I don't care about them. Okay, crossing them off because they piss me off. Ivara from Warframe. I may be saying that wrong. Um, where is she? I rated her, nope, that's Spotify. I rated her, oh, it's six. I rated her a six originally. I honestly have no opinions on her because I have not seen the material. I like her legs, but I literally have no idea what she is. Um, I think if she gave me a coy look from across the cafeteria, I would blush, but I don't know that I would be like raring to go like up and at them, just like bonkers and yonkers. You know what I mean? Um, I really don't have any, any opinions on her. Jack Skellington. Oh man. I may have rated him too high. Jack Skellington. I rated at an eight. Um, where did he go? Did his head get cut off whenever I transported the picture in? Where'd he go? Where's my boy? Oh yeah. Okay. So his picture got cut off. Of course. Um, I rated him an eight. That's really high. I, I, uh. so here's the thing. He is a skeleton and I feel like that would be very impractical. Realistically, that would be very impractical, impractical. Um, I blame Jack for my toxic attraction. <laughs> skinny emo boys. The problem with Jack is that he was a very formative, uh, crush for me. So I think that does end up affecting a lot of my, my choices now. I feel like, I think I go out of my way to get his number. He can take off his fucking head. <gasps> You're right. I'm not going to discuss the ramifications of that, but it is intriguing. He, I think he is naive. I think you're right. I feel like he is sort of in the same vein as Wally in that, like, I feel like he would do a little kiss, a little hug. Actually, fun facts, in the original version of the movie, you know, there's a poem, I think it's at the end. No, it's a po there's like a poem-ish bit, like narration at the beginning of the movie. In the original, there's also at the end, um, and it references how there were like skeleton doll kids that Jack and Sally had. Um, so he can fuck. I do not, I do not care to explore how. So, I think I would get his number. I don't think I'd be in love with him necessarily. Um, and I'm content to leave it at that. Not underline. Cross it out. Shrek got unrated rage. I would like to go ahead and give everybody in the Twitch chat a chance to go crazy for Shrek. Go ahead. Tell me what you think he should be rated. Because I really, I really don't want to, I, I feel like I don't even want to address. <laughs> Shrek is a zero. Okay. Someone else said 10. Bottom of list. Okay. I'm seeing mixed results. I think Shrek can fuck, but he shouldn't. God, that's so funny. <laughs> he can, but he shouldn't. Fiona did have three kids. Um, Shrek is a three, an overrated two, zero. Yeah. Okay. It's not illegal, so I'm not going to put him, I'm not going to put him at zero. Um, can't think about it without vomiting in my mouth a little. I will kill both of us if you come on to me. Um, I'm going to put it in, can't think about it without vomiting in my mouth a little. Cause honestly, no appeal for me whatsoever. None at all. He is disgusting and smelling and smelly. So I'm really not gonna, he can definitely rip anyone in half, but I feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like he'd be selfish and I feel like the whole movies went to like disprove that, but I just like, am not interested at all. I'm not. Like, I don't even want to confront that. Shrek takes a shower. I could be game. Um, yeah. I want to move on from Shrek because I do not even want to address that. Um, okay. Werewolves. Werewolves in general. The picture I used is from Teen Wolf because I couldn't find a better one. And the head of that picture got cut off too. Great. So, uh, Alistor is not here. He's one of my biggest non-human crushes. Okay. I'll talk about Alistor. You want to talk about Alistor? I'll talk about him. I love that man so much. I say man. 
I love that demon so much. I would put him at a 10 out of 10, which is distressing because I'm realizing that the other one rated 10 on this list is also a demon, which I think says a lot about me, but I do not want to address it. Uh, yes. Yes, gender envy and massive fucking crush on Alistor. Um, so, werewolf. I'd originally given a 5 for the intrigue factor, and I moved it up to a 7 today. Let me think. 6 or 7. What are the thoughts? Because the problem... I know, I know, the, the fangs are, are intriguing, but I... <sighs> That's a lot of hair. A werewolf is very hairy. Like, if we're talking a werewolf, like, uh, yeah, it, again, we're, we're, we're towing the line between, like, human and animal. I feel like it's a humanoid animal. I, I'm, uh, I don't know. Claudine barely counts. She is way more humanoid than a traditional werewolf. Have a size fang thing, so where's the seven or eight for me? I also like the hair. Seven. Mixed reviews, mixed reviews. I feel like he's really hairy. But the aggression, the aggression, he's got, he's getting a seven. I would go out of my way to get his number. I've decided. I would. I would. Four out of ten. Okay. The danger, the adrenaline rush. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'll give him that. Hordak. I put it a three the first time. I wish I could emphasize how little of an opinion I have on this. I, deadass, do not care about this man at all. I don't like the way his face looks. I don't really care to to, to delve into this. I, j I, I feel like I put him at a three and that's it. Like, I really, Netflix Hordak though. What does he look like? Let me look that up. Him? Him? Oh, are you talking about this one? Because that's a little different. Yes, this is kind of hot. Is this what you were talking about? Wrong Hordak winking, Netflix reboot. I know. Now that really does interest me an awful lot. Ah. Uh, some of these just aren't and like the voice is cute i literally i only like this like i don't even care about the others let me get it let me get a voice in here hordak she -Ra. um let me get a video because i want to hear um voice i don't know where's his nose that's a good question that's he-man she are princess of power. Okay, this is probably the one. Ghost Rider. I think I think I did like Ghost Rider. Can I get the audio up on this? You wanted to talk to me? Oh, oh, it's a fandom collab. Never Come mind. On. I did not want a I don't have time for this. <laughs> it's a fandom. <laughs> it's a fandom. <laughs> um best Well, that's wrong Hordak. What is wrong, Hordak? I don't know what that is. I don't care to I don't care to explore. Um Okay, I'm gonna put Hordak at number four because there's a vague amount of intrigue there, but I don't want to admit it. So um oh, he's a war criminal? I feel like we're I feel like most of the people on this list are, like most of them are villains. So I'm not even sure if that's a concern at this point. Like, we're, we're speaking purely physical. We are not even discussing their morals. Um, so let's move on to one of my favorites on this list, Sauron. Who I currently have sitting at 9. And in the video I said it is for personal reasons. I just think... <laughs> I just think he's intriguing. That's all. I just think he's intriguing. So, I am going to leave it. Armor is hot. Exactly. Um, love a man who I can't see his face. He very much intrigues me. Very much. Um, do I know what he looks like under there? No. No, I don't. Um, 
What about the big eye version? You're not at the fucking tower. I wish you'd shut up. Um, what, you bitches are gonna fuck a building next? Shut up. Um, this is an embarrassing stream. I have been caught in 4K. I, yeah, I'm gonna leave that at a nine. This is getting unhealthy. All I do is write fanfic about us all day long. Uh, I am going to leave that one there. Because I do not wish to address it any further. <laughs> I'll fuck a building if it's hot enough. God, these comments. Okay, next up, the one you've been asking for is Jessie from Toy Story. I gave her a six because that's a toy. I don't feel very... I don't know. I don't feel... I don't feel very... I don't really care. Like, I... I'd blush a little. I don't think I'd want to go crazy on her. Uh, in the video, I remember remarking that uh, the person who submitted it is either uh, a lesbian who wants to be dominated or a man- or a lesbian who wants to be taken care of or a man who wants to be dominated. Yes. Uh, assuming she was life-size, maybe. I feel like- I, I just don't really care. Like, I don't- Oh, no. Optimus Prime is on this list. Optimus, Optimus Prime is on this list. Um, she does seem very innocent. So, I don't know. You see how she treats Woody? Jessie, but eight feet tall. <laughs> she is a pretty cowgirl girl girlfriend. So I see, I feel like you guys are kind of catching up to my train of thought. She's not that interesting. Um, Life-size Jessie sounds terrifying. Howdy. <laughs> um, Fungus Maximus is on this list. Uh, I don't know who that is, so no. Tall Jesse maybe can get it. Bill Cipher is on there. Um, I feel like I rated Jesse too high. Um, I feel like I'm going to put her at like a vague amount of interest that I don't want to admit. Could you pass your judgment on? I don't know how to say that. Who is that? Please, Stevie. Cade 6 or Ultron. Give me a goddamn second. Oh, Ultron saw- I don't know who that is. Um, Cade 6 actually is on this list, um, as a bonus one, because people keep- Oh my god, they keep asking for that in the comments of my videos. Ryuk is on this list because, again, you bitches just could not get enough of that man. Um, hey, I'm questioning why Dobby is on this list too, because I- I, I don't like it either. I don't like it either. Um, Akira from Devil Man Crybaby. Um, Gilmon. Digimon Gilmon. Okay. Um, Akira, I gave an 8 because I just think he's very hot. Akira is hot. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I actually am debating putting him at a 9. Devil Man version hotter. Yeah. Um, I tried to get a picture. Do you see the dream scene? I need you guys to know that I have not seen this show. I just thought the art was hot. Um, also, I was looking for a Devil Man picture, but I couldn't find a better one. So, eh. I... I legitimately am I'm th I, I'm putting him at a nine. Oh, my God. The more evil they are and the closer to demonic they are, the higher I rate them. God damn it. This is embarrassing. Oh, also, look at my shirt. Look at my shirt. It's got little devils on it. Fit check, baby. Um, yeah, Cotton 4K again. The shirt is very fitting for the stream, though, which is super fun. Um, I'm leaving Akira at a nine. I, I... Man, but now I, I was about to say, like, I really want to get in there, and so I'm also kind of like... I, I, I'm putting him at a 10. I'm putting him at a 10. And I will not take any more criticisms on the subject. I got this shirt from Shein.com. It was very cheap and it has held up incredibly well. Um, I get pretty much all of my fun, fancy, uh, like, pattern button downs from Shein. Okay. Got Akira. The Argonians, I gave a 2. Because they're they're just lizards. <laughs> they're just lizards. Like I don't I They're 
just lizards. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something, maybe. Are they evil? Is that what the intrigue is? Villains are more scarred and brokerage makes them more mature. More mature means they're more hot, so... Lizard <laughs> If evil bad people who treat you like shit bad, why hot? Explain this, liberals. <laughs> I... Anthro lizards are hot as fuck. Argonians are just lizard people. I don't... I don't get it. I feel like I'm not... I'm realizing that they have to be anthropomorphized mammals for me to be interested. Um, yeah, honestly, I I feel like I want to leave them there. I don't really, I don't think I'd even put them as high as a three. Just because, like, that's a little, I don't, I don't know. I don't like that very much. Um, they have claws, too, which is spicy. I don't think it's the evil I'm attracted to. If it's the evil, I'd be more attracted to Republicans. <laughs> you piece of shit. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna leave them there. I'm not really... Eh. Mega Sizor and fucking Bisharp. I rated them at a six? What? Oh, it's because of how they're shaped. So I feel like they could be perceived as curvy MILFs. So that's why I put them at a six. I feel like I'm more inclined to put them at an okay weight. MILF bugs, exactly. I'm gonna put both of them at five because I don't really want to, um, where'd the other one go? Oh, there she is. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm not really ready to, to go whole hog on it. 10 all the way, okay. Um, yeah, I feel like there's, there's some intrigue there. Above Jesse. <laughs> Yes. I was about to reconsider. Um, yes. They're shaped like curvy MILFs. They are MILF bugs. They are MILF bugs. Um, and Jesse, I feel like, is too innocent. And I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Only vague interest for Jesse. She stays where she is. You're taking suggestions for this to me outside on from Zelda and Breath of Wild. Okay, tons of people have recommended that. I don't know who that is. Let me look it up. Is it Sidon or C? I don't know what it is. Um. Oh. Well. Is this a mermaid? Wait. Stop. He's so pretty. Fish Daddy, you're right. Oh my god, he's so pretty. I'm about to act up. I would rate him a 9. Like, right off the fucking bat, I would rate him a 9. He's so pretty. I cannot- I cannot get over that. Like, he's like extremely fucking pretty. Oh my god. Um... Whew. Whew. Yeah, Fishman. He's also a himbo. I love that. He's extremely pretty. Um, I'm gonna proceed with the list. I'll come back to, to chat suggestions, but we have a lot, a lot of them to get through. Um, Gil, I put <laughs> at a seven. This is Gil the Fish from Finding Nemo. And I know that earlier I said that thing about animals, and then I said the thing about they would have to be mammals, they would have to be humanoid mammals in order for me to be intrigued, but this is, this is a fish, and I did rate it a 7 the first time I made this list. So, it is the voice. It definitely is the voice. Um... I don't even know what to say about this because I, I, I don't want to break my own. I do not emperor jellyfish. I feel like I should, I, it's the voice. It's the spirit. It's the, it's, it's the big, oh my God, it's the daddy issues. It is the daddy issues uh, once again. It is illegal. <laughs> Wait, is it? Is it? I'm not saying. 
I don't want to look that up. I feel like that would probably be illegal. It is. It is. It is bestiality. I okay, fine. I'll put him down. He's gonna. Come on. <laughs> you, you know, you know, all of it is linked back to daddy issues. It absolutely is. Um, you know that all the ones that were submitted that are animals are it's because of their voices and their personalities so i feel like i want to cut them slack but the problem is that if i'm rating them on their physical forms that gets complicated a real fucking fast so i will leave him at zero which breaks my heart i will admit it it breaks my heart see <laughs> search history is fucking a visual <laughs> Yeah. Is it illegal to fuck a fish? Top 10 things I didn't think I would hear today. Um, God damn it, the Muppets are next. Um, yeah, so somebody suggested the the Muppets. Oh, oh, someone said Xenomorphs. Let me talk about the Xenomorphs real quick. Beep boop, beep 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 boop boop. Beep boop, beep beep beep. No, I cannot spell Xenomorph. Doop, beep doop doop doop. I would like to... I would like to talk about the- I would just like to talk about the xenomorphs. I just think- <laughs> I just think he's hot and evil. That is- I just think he's hot and evil. Like the- Okay. Yeah. Not evil, just pure instinct. You're right. You're right. I am not accepting the fact you think that's how bullets and people are too far. You're right. It is, I think it's the mouth. What the hell are you guys on that makes you so horny? That I can answer. I am literally on testosterone. Like, like everyone else, the rest of you bitches don't have an excuse. I am literally on a drug that makes me horny. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with all of this energy? What am I supposed to do? Stevie really said if it can kill me, it's a nine. Unfortunately, yes. Yes. Um, it's designed to look like a peep. Oh my god. You're right. I guess it is a little phallic. Um, yeah, honestly, I have no explanation as to why I find this more, more attractive than the uh lizard people i really have no reasoning um i would actually put that at like a nine if not a ten like i think the only thing holding me back would be that i'm scared of it but also that is also going to enhance the experience um i am painfully horny and also on tea Ugh. xenomorph queen is that a thing is that a thing what is that i'm assuming it's Please go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, Miss Girl. I feel like I don't know what's happening here. Um. Why are all the pictures of her, like, worse? She's 40 feet tall. Well, isn't that nifty? Choosing a literal 50-foot squid over Jesse. Um, yeah, I mean, I said what I said. Yeah. I am I'm interested, but I feel like Is she taller? Is she 40 How tall are the male xenomorphs versus the female xenomorphs? Like I do love an alien milf, a giant woman, a giant woman. <laughs> I feel like that fucking Steven Universe so I wanted to see a giant woman. Xenomorph mixed with General Grievous. Interesting. Y'all got me so goddamn off track. I was talking about the Muppets. <laughs> you got me distracted with the Xenomorphs. Um, Fog is a sexy Muppet. So is Animal and Fozzie. You think Fozzie is attractive? Ugh, shut up. He is not. Who is Thog? Thog. Is that a Muppet? Him? Do you want to talk to me about how you're attracted to that? That is a blue blob. 
Okay, and the rest of you are going for animal. This is insane. They are felt puppets. Muppets are not fuckable. Uh, once again, top 10 thoughts that should be illegal. Fucking Muppets. Um, no, there are not some Muppets who could get- this is horrible. Um, luckily, it's my tier list and I get to make the rules. <laughs> um, let me just get the Muppets on out of there. Zero. Very zero. Actually, maybe I could put- it's not illegal, but I feel like I would put it at, like, vomiting in my mouth. Um... And I wish y'all would shut up about Animal the Muppet. I've seen people do cute, like, human cosplays of Animal, and those are always adorable. Um, but I just do not see any... No, I'd kill both of us if you came on to me. I am not gonna do that. I don't like that at all. Crossing off the Muppets. Data from Star Trek is the closest that we're gonna get to a human. I rated him a 7 last time because I had a crush on him as a kid. Um, Spyro the Dragon. I specifically left Spyro out of my TikTok videos because someone suggested every single dragon from Spyro. Do you think I want to talk about that? No! The answer is no! I feel like, um, no. No, that's what I feel like. Um, okay, moving on. Data, I put it a 7? I would go out of my way to get his number. Um, are you talking about my voice? If you're talking about my voice getting deeper, I'll cry. He deserves an eight. He's sweet and would care for you so much. Justice for him. Okay, honestly, he is basically an all-knowing robot. He has the power of the internet at his fingertips. He can literally download all the knowledge of what it would take. You're right. He pro I think he would- yes. I have decided. There's one piece of art of him. Vaniv from Arcane Ascension. Who is that? Um, Vaniv from Arcane Ascension. This better not be inappropriate. I'll kick your ass. Um... I don't think any of these are what you meant. Uh, everyone here needs therapy, but this is the therapy. Data, okay, I will admit, Data does give me asexual vibes. I remember there was a brief plot line where he was trying to figure out if he liked someone or not. Um, and I think he ended up, dis I think he ended up discussing, um, the fact that he couldn't really feel like romantic attraction or he wasn't quite sure what emotional intimacy would look like for him. So honestly, I will totally respect him if he is asexual or aromantic, but I feel like he is a huge sweetie and if he wasn't, I would definitely want to get his number. Um, I just saw your tea video and then compared it to your most recent video about the sweatshirts and it sounds deeper. Thank you so much. <laughs> that, I really appreciate it. That makes me feel, uh, a lot of gender euphoria. I've got to be honest. Um, you're right. It, it is deeper. Um, which is very satisfying. I do like that. Um, and I do feel... Um, I feel a lot more comfortable in my body. Um, I can't wait for you to go over my post in the Google Sheet. Listen, I I wish I knew which one it was. Because there are 50,000 confession booth submissions. And some of them, I literally just like cannot even... Like, I don't even know how to... I don't even know how to go about that. Ooh, I should make a special Google form just for my Twitch followers so that everybody who's in the chat right now would be able to access that one and then I can prioritize those because I would actually enjoy that a lot. TikTok Live people, if you're hearing this, I while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and make another Google form just for my Twitch people who are in the chat right now and I'm gonna make a new link for them and I'm going to give theirs priority. I'm gonna move this over here. Um. So if you guys want to come join the Twitch stream, that is on, let me move this back, uh, my link tree in my bio, confessions just for my Twitch people. Um, required. Okay. Honestly? I feel like I could just leave this as it is. <laughs> Ooh, I like that color. Ooh, that's gorgeous, actually. 
Ooh, these are very pretty. Okay, yeah, honestly, um, I'm gonna make it, I need to edit it so that you can only do it once. Nope, not that one. Settings, limit to one response, perfect. Send, copy that link, copy that link. Okay, kids, um, this is for the confession booth. Um, okay, actually, I'll do two, just for you guys. Um, confession booth, pasted. And then I will do a monster submission as well. Nope, that is not how you spell that. Twitch people monster form. This is so much fun. I love this. Settings, one response, send, shorten, copy, and okay. Okay, y'all, we got both of those in inside the Twitch chat. So if you guys want to submit me your confession booth or, uh, or your monster crush, those will take priority for me because they are shorter lists and that stresses me out less. So um, time to continue with my list. Oh my god, Monokuma pissed me off. The fact that anyone would even recommend that pissed me the fuck off. So originally I rated him a three because that was before I had a frame of reference for like where I tend to rate other monsters. He deserves a zero. He's a stuffed animal. He is literally unfuckable. Like I, there is nothing going on. Actually, I would just kill him. It's not illegal, but I would kill him if he came onto me. Um, so I did two surveys. So the first one is confession boots and the other one is monster crushes. So click the, the, the link that you need. Um, and it'll say which one you've clicked on. Uh, I want to say Lucifer from Dante Inferno game, but his dick does swing freely in it. So you can't look up pictures here. I'm going to take it off screen. Let me check. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't see... I think we're good. Yeah, okay, those are good. Those are good. I can bring this back. Uh, it didn't It didn't pop up. Um, this is... No, I'm not. I want to see his face. It's like, luckily, there is no dick. So, I think that's very... It's got horns. It's got horns. I think that's fun. It's the demon thing. Again, it is the demon thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I like him. <laughs> okay. What was I talking- Oh, Monokuma. Yeah, absolutely. Just kill him. You get to through the link tree, right? Um, the, the surveys that I just posted are actually in this Twitch chat. If you scroll up, I put in um, my own links. So one says Confession Booth and one says Monster Crush. Um, so just scroll up. Um, and they are in there because I want it so that just you guys could access it. Next up is Optimus Prime. None other than Optimus Prime, the thick fucking robot himself. I love this bitch. Where is he? Ah, there he is. I rated him a five the first time because I was afraid of all the pointy edges. Stevie, you have so many viewers, you're literally famous. I can't see how many viewers I have right now. Can someone tell me how many are in here? Because Streamlabs says it's at zero, and I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I did 78, 80, hell yeah! Hi friends, that's a lot of people! Hi guys, plus the people on TikTok, hello! Um, that's very thrilling, this is super fun, huh? Um, yeah, Optimus Prime, I put him at a five. But I feel like he deserves higher. I feel like if he gave me a coy look from across the cafeteria, I think I would blush. Um, thank you, Artist on String, for linking those those links again. 80 folks watching you out yourself in 4K. <laughs> Love your color scheme. Thank you so much. If anybody's curious about the, the artist I got my theme from, 
I have her linked on uh, my Twitch page. She's one of the first links that's up there, actually. Um, definitely want to give my artist credit, of course. Um, so, uh, I think I do... I'm going to keep Optimus Prime in a six. Because I feel like if he gave me a coy look from across the cafeteria, I would blush. I feel like I would want him to get my number, though. I don't know that I would pursue him. But I, I would definitely like the attention. Also, he's tall. So I know that earlier I was talking about how- That's a car. Shut up. Are you a coward? Are you a fucking coward? Optimus Prime would be into Anon. And even though you're going to notice him no matter- I guess. Cars are on. <laughs> Hey, Stevie, went to high school together. I don't think you remember me. Who are you? Your, your screen is sounding crackhead. How am I supposed to guess? Um, I, yeah. This is embarrassing if we knew each other from high school and this is what you're seeing me do now is how much I want to fuck these monsters. Anonymous car. Uh, anonym, anonymous car. I don't know what you're saying. I'm so sorry. Um, mm, cars. You guys are awful. I... I would also like to address that earlier I made a video talking about how I don't like freakishly tall men. I would like to address that that is solely referring to human men. Monster men? They can do whatever they want. Anything at all. Anything at all. Can you read the Twitch submissions from the Twitch Google stuff you posted? Yes, I will. Um, Lightning McQueen, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I wish I would shut up. I'm not going to discuss car fucking any longer than I have to. Mothman is up next. I put him at a seven originally. Because he seems like a provider. Let's discuss. Caitlin Burke, hi friend. Hello, I do remember you. What are you on? Hi Caitlin, I'm really happy you're here. I'm like, I'm very happy you're like a non-judgmental person. I was so afraid. <laughs> Um, hello. I'm very, very happy you're here, especially seeing me out myself in 4K about how much I would like to fuck the fish from Finding Nemo. Um, have you looked at Echo from Overwatch? No, I have not. Um, Echo from Overwatch. Let me see. Ooh. Well, that's a sexy robot. Now that's a robot I can get behind. Yeah. Echo is a MILF. Actually, is Echo old enough to be a MILF? I think she's just a woman you want to fuck. She's- yeah. Yeah, she's up there. I would get her number. She'd be a seven. Absolutely. Um, so Mothman, I do still have a seven. I actually don't know if I would go out of my way to get his number or not. I think I would- I think I'd give him a little blush. Um, but I feel like he's a little too furry. I think the insect traits freaks me out. I think the insect traits freak me out. So I don't know how partial I actually would be to those. Uh, Mothman makes brownies. <laughs> Everybody's talking about Urbosa. Who is that? Who's Urbosa? Bye, Poggers Catboy. Have a good dinner. Urbosa? Is that from Zelda as well? Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Now this is very fun. Oh, she's so pretty. That looks like a human woman. That looks like a human woman. You guys are cheating again. I'm not going to rate her because that looks like a human woman. Um, what's with you and fluff? I love the fluff. I don't know. The fur kind of... I just... I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. What is next? <laughs> the fucking Hydra. So the person... The next three were submitted by the same person who obviously has a tentacle fetish. Hydra, Cthulhu, and mermaids with tentacles. I, where's the Hydra picture? I rated it a two because I feel like that is just too much. Like, I feel like that's too much to, to handle. That's too much to handle. Wouldn't Hydra go under animal? Um, it is a little bit, it is a little bit animalistic, isn't it? See, the problem is that it's not a real animal, so it can't be illegal. Um... Too many heads, and I feel like it's too big. I just feel like there's a lot going on there. Um, I'm also a connoisseur of monster fucking. Really hope no one from high school is here. Um, Cheyenne is. Cheyenne is, is here. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I feel like I'd vomit in my mouth a little bit thinking about that. Like, I don't think I could kill it, to be honest, but, like, I'm not really... I... Yeah. I'm noticing the reptilian ones tend to end up in tier two. I, I point to Shrek as if he's reptilian. Um, Cthulhu, however, I gave a six. I love a good eldritch being. Um, someone I noticed that someone said the, the squid man from Pirates of the Caribbean. He looks a lot like Cthulhu. Um, where is it? The squid Yes. I put him I put him at a six before? Oh my god, that's really high for Cthulhu. I feel like I should put Cthulhu at five as like okay wait. Oh, you're talking about Davy Jones, okay. I'm gonna put Cthulhu well the tentacle face. I feel like Cthulhu could do whatever they want. They could be smaller. Yeah, I I feel like if Cthulhu was, like, human-sized... If Cthulhu was boy-sized, I think we could talk. I'm not sure if he's going to be, like, super-duper monster or not. Um, Cthulhu would be too manipulative, let's be real. But the things the tentacles would do. Yes, that's the thing. Because this is not about love. Like, really at all, for the most part. Um... I don't, I, I don't think this is about love. Um, Cthulhu's four seven seven foot. Which is it? Are y'all lying? <laughs> I need someone to look up the actual height of Cthulhu. <laughs> I'm gonna move that. Okay. Um, Cthulhu height. He's a horrifying eldritch being. Does anyone else have the song I Fuck Cthulhu playing in their head? You're right. Cthulhu is sexy. Is so sexy that everyone who's seen them goes insane. Oh, 47 feet tall. It's called monster fucking, not monster dating for a reason. Hundreds of meters feet tall. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Oh, that's fun. I feel like there is a certain amount of powerlessness in this that is intriguing. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave him at eight. I'm going to leave him at eight. The downside is that people are going to look at the ones under this and be like, you'd really rather fuck Cthulhu than, than Torlai from Monster High. And the answer is, yeah, yeah, I would. I'm nowhere near as horny for her. Like I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are ghosts too human? If they're the ghosts of humans, yes. Yes, they are. Cthulhu is over Jesse. I think I'd like to fuck an eldritch being for the experience. Yeah, you guys get it. Mermaids with tentacles. So this art came from Karen E. Haley on Redbubble, and it is the cutest fucking art I've ever seen. Where is it? Oh my god, this one's so cute. What did I rate this one? Oh, I rated it a nine. I just think... I think that mermaids are... I think they can be kind of benevolent. Uh, do you have a cash app? I have Venmo in my TikTok bio, um, and I do also have a donate panel on my Twitch about page. So if you don't want to leave the app, I do have a donate panel. Thank you very much. Um, I see that someone gave the octopus woman a 10. Um, I think I would be massively in love with her, but I do also think we would have a very, a very good time together. Can we have Hades in general? Like he'd be smoking hot. You're right and you should say it. You are right and you should say it. He would. Anything that is like far more powerful than me, I'm very intrigued by. Based on this list, I wouldn't be surprised if Stevie used to be a Shadow the Hedgehog in middle school. I actually did avoid a Sonic phase. Um, my partner, however, did not. We have had many debates about the hedgehogs. Um, and I feel like I have to do a whole separate video just of, of the Sonic the Hedgehog characters, but I'm also so afraid to address that. <laughs> so... Hades fits better with monster dating. Yeah, I wouldn't really call him... I wouldn't really call Hades a human by any means. Really just, like, non-human. Oh my god, from Lore Olympus. Let's just look at him for a minute. I just want to look at that pretty, pretty man. God, he's so cute. God damn it, he's so cute! Fuck! I just want to look at him. Like, he just... Are you kidding me? Stevie and the Sonic fuckers coming to theaters near you. Oh my god, he's so cute. Ugh, I love him. God, he's so cute. 
Are you kidding me? He's so pretty. Okay, okay. Um, Cass, who is that? Who are you talking about? Oh, Breath of the Wild. Why do you all like so many Breath of the Wild characters? The bird? This is a this is a bird. This is the bird. Stevie didn't have a Sonic phase, but they sure did have a Hamilton phase. Uh, more or less. I think I just liked the memes about it, but I only actually listened to the soundtrack once. So I was actually a poser, but nobody around me knew it. <laughs> I was a Hamilton poser. Um, he's like seven feet tall and thick. Everyone likes this this big bird. A big bird? Can I get a clip? Like, I... What's... Can I hear his voice? Is it... No. Every cast song, voice thing, final song. Hmm. Cast his daddy because I couldn't tell his gender at first. Fuck it, let's simp for Big Bird. <laughs> It is not loading. Oh. Um, oh. oh, he doesn't talk. This is very nice. The thighs. He does have good thighs. This song slaps as well. Pirate bird. You're right. Talented hands. I really like this song. Not me thinking that him being able to play the accordion is attractive. You're right. This is nice. He's so cute. Every accordion player is queer. Uh, I've only ever known one accordion player, and they work here, so. Yeah, this is good. God damn it, you're right. That pisses me off, you're right! The bird is hot! I don't even want to address that, but the bird is hot! I get the vibe he would wine and dine first. Oh, absolutely. Look up B-Stars. I won't. I've seen that show. I've seen your little furry show. I have. And I do not wish to engage with it. I don't. I just don't. And I will leave it at that. I have heard far too much, far too much about Beastars from you fellows. And I will not address it. Fucking Kowalski. Of course. Oh god, I fucked that up. The fucking penguin is next. God damn it. Give me a minute. I see all your requests. How do I get back here? Okay. I see all your requests. Give me one second. Um, Kowalski uh, is an animal. Zero. Fucking obviously. You'll do Xenomorphs but not Beastars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's my stream and I get to rate who I want. Kowalski, no, but Rico, yes. Put him up top already. What are you guys talking about? What are you talking about? I hate this. Anyway, fucking Nick Wilde. I will let you all get your screaming about Zootopia out in the chat right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Scream about this dumb fucking smug fox. Go ahead. He pisses me off. He pisses me off. He is smug. He is literally just an animal. But the number of submissions I have gotten just about this one goddamn fox is just, is too many like too smug four out of ten i don't think he's that hot and i'm literally a furry okay i'm glad i'm actually getting some agreement because every single submission to the google form had like i it's the voice zootopia is not even not be b stars is just horny zootopia and you fucking know it it's just it's Nick would tell me I'm stupid and I would thank him. I love egotistical sarcastic. Okay. Let's find a voice clip. Because I know it's be I know it's because of the voice and the mannerisms. Let's review. Zootopia was made to make people furries. Uh I hope not, but Okay. Let's let's address it. 
Beastars is horny Zootopia. Hey, no you should kiss, say bye bye for daddy. You kiss me tomorrow. I'll bite your fights off. Please, 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 please. I forgot that I like this movie. What? I stood up for you, and you lied to me. You liar. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. Ah, oh, his voice is hot. He is. Hey! Whose car is it? The most feared crime boss in Tundra Town. They call yeah, him. I do like his voice, but honestly... Yeah. Yeah. Nick definitely had a baka face. Nick Wilde will make me pay for the Tinder date and date a 17-year-old. You're right. You're right. Um, I come back to y'all sipping for Nick Wilde. Listen, I, well, okay. In my video, I rated him a four. But here, it on, on this scale, it says there's a vague amount of intrigue here and I don't want to admit it. And I don't really want to give him that. Like, I do like the voice, but like, I don't. I don't want to engage with it. I don't. I he is an animal. I'm gonna stick him solidly at bro stop you what the fuck. Even even ignoring the fact that it would be illegal in real on the same tier as Jesse. No. No. I'm putting Nick Wilde on the same Oh wait, no. Where is he? I'm putting him on the same tier as Rodney Copperbottom. <laughs> he is below Jesse. He is below Jesse. Um, it is the personality. Don't forget where you rank the tiger on Zootopia. <laughs> I'm now realizing that as it get further along, the hard and fast rules that I set earlier are like slowly being demolished, which is embarrassing. Um, next up is Sans Undertale, who I rated a six in the fucking video. Um, I mean, he's a bunch of pixels, but the problem is that the fan fiction and the fan art is so goddamn hot. I'll be the first to admit it. The fan fiction, it's hot. It's hot. Um, I'm hearing a lot of slander in here. Anthro animals don't count as a zero. Um, you feel like Sans would be abusive? Well, okay. P potentially, potentially manipulative. Um, Sans is obviously topping. Um, why Sans Undertale when you can go Undyne Undertale? Undyne, we do like Tall Fish Lady. We do like Tall Fish Lady. Um... I, honest to God, feel like I may end up rating him higher, and that's embarrassing. Sans gaslights? No! <laughs> um, I don't... I don't feel like I can put him lower than Jack Skellington, because I'm more attracted to Sans Undertale than I am to Jack Skellington. Oh, that's embarrassing to admit. Listen, for everybody saying that Sans would be a gaslighter, a manipulator, um, you're right. He would. But we've long since addressed that this is not about love. This list is not about love. I... I'm, I'm gonna put him at an 8. I'm gonna put him at an 8. Am I allowed to submit another character? Um, I think it's set to only let you do one if you haven't submitted to the uh, to the Twitch chat um, links. You can go ahead and do that. Um, I can also go ahead and resend those for the people who just got here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, send. Shorten URL. Copy. Um... Okay, so I need the confession booth. Nope, that's not how to type. There we go. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I do think Sans is a little bit hot. Not a fan of most Undertale characters, to be honest. I feel like I'm alone with this. Listen, they're a bunch of pixels. They shouldn't be hot. Um, but he is. Uh, can we see the Twitch responses now? Yes. Okay. We will go ahead and take a look at the responses we have so far. Um, because I'm only going to be on to 50 people, fucking hell. <laughs> I did not expect that many. So I'm just going to go, Metaton is the hottest. Metaton actually is on this list. Metaton is on this list. Hold on, let me go ahead and rate Metaton real quick. Um, Metaton, where is Metaton? I feel like I'd blush a little bit. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to get his number, I feel like Metaton is such a fucking twink and I love that. Like, I really love that. 
Yeah. Um, whoever said Perry the Platypus, um, shut up. Shut up. I would get Metaton's number. I've decided. Okay. Fungus Maximus. Time for me to search up who this Fungus Maximus that you all have been talking about is. From Barbie? Which one of you did this? Which one of you did this? I just want to talk. This is very bad, and I'm angry with you. Um, moving on. I, and the problem is that I think you were being earnest when you submitted this, and that upsets me. Like, I really wish you weren't, but I'm pretty sure that you, you honest to God meant this one. Uh, anyway, moving on. Very upset. Uh, where did you get that shirt from? I got it from Shein.com. It was quite cheap, uh, which is very nice for me. Sister Midnight. You know, there's a lot of colors and there's a lot of things going on here. Is this what I'm looking for? Sister Midnight? Oh, oh, okay. Big, big green clawed hands. I am having a hard time telling what's going on here. I feel like I would rate her a six, I think. I would, I would blush a little bit if she, if she winked at me across the classroom. But I also can't tell really where her eyes are. So I don't quite know how that, how that would go for me. <laughs> Growlmon. Growlmon? Who is that? Toothless? Toothless. For real? He doesn't talk. Toothless is is basically a, a pet. Sis Growlmon, what is happening? Yeah, Toothless is a fucking baby. That feels illegal. That is fucking illegal. I I don't really get it. Is this a Pokemon? I don't know shit about this. I don't know what's happening here. Um, I don't like those claws. I feel like too too big, too bulky. I don't really know what's going on here. Um, no, no, a three. That's a, that's a row you, what the fuck. I'm just not really into it. Um, Gilmon, what is going on with Gilmon? I like that the two that were together was Gromon and Gilmon. Oh, did you mean the same thing? Are these the same thing? This is a, this is a pet. Um, no, moving on. Lu Lugia? Lugia? The big one is this evolution. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm not really into it. I feel like that reminds me too much of Toothless, actually, a little bit in, in terms of, of pet. There's a lot of Pokemon. She is pretty, though. I will give you that. She is really pretty. Um, I still don't feel very good about it. I only felt okay about Mega Sizar and Bisharp because they they were bipedal which i'm realizing makes a big difference for me um the red ones were a digimon not Pokemon. gotcha uh i will not lie to you i do not know the difference um but i appreciate you for telling me um okay lugia is sent is is sentient um no more pokemon listen the problem is that i won't know if what i'm looking up is a pokemon because i don't know anything about them lugia is bi is, is bipedal I feel like she's pretty, but, like, I don't know that I would put her... I don't think I'd... I think I'd put her in, like, a vague amount of intrigue is probably where I'd end up putting her. Let me move this over to this this one, too. Um, I'll come back to that. Yeah, I feel like... Oh, she has a child in the series? Okay. Um, the spider from... The spider from James and the Giant Peach? Wasn't she, like, a pretty spider lady? I never saw that movie. I like that you guys are just... Oh! Well, hello. Okay, thank you very much. Okay! I can see it. French spider. The legs are very... She's got fancy boots on. She's got her slutty little boots on! I would... I would giggle a little bit if she winked at me across the cafeteria. I would I would do like a solid a solid six. It's the French goth. You're right. Um she I would yeah, I would go 
I would giggle a little bit if she winked at me. I feel like I wouldn't really pursue it, but I would. She's either a five or a six. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are making me look bad, but I really brought this upon myself. Incineroar, who is this? If this is a Pokemon, I'm not even going to rate it. Now you're wrong for that one. <laughs> God damn it. Remember the boots that Patrick from Spongebob wears? <laughs> Uh, no, this is another Pokemon. Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy. I know who that is. She's pretty. She's really pretty. That's, um, what's her name? Amy from Doctor Who. <laughs> I should know her real name and I don't. She is so pretty. Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna, uh, you know she'd top. You know she would top. I feel like I would give her an eight or a nine. I'm like really, Karen Gillan, thank you. Um, I'm into that, honestly, really into that. Um, let me look at what 9 and 10. Yeah, honestly, I would do... I think I put that at a 9. I, I am really into that. Bowser. Um, I know what he looks like, and I really don't want to think on this one too hard. Also, I noticed that I skipped one in that last answer, and I'm going to go back to it. Um, a lot of people submitted Bowser. Like, like a lot of people submitted Bowser. Not just in this, but, like, in the actual, like, original Google form. And I don't really know what I'm to do with that. Bowser is not a DILF. Bowser is not a DILF. I wish you all would stop saying that. Um, he does a lot of kidnapping. You want me to look at Bowser? Bowser? Let, let me take a look at Bowser. No, not inappropriate being the first thing to come up. I'm ready to... Nope, okay. Um, that was a lot of tits. <laughs> that was a lot of tits. I couldn't even... No. Okay. Moving on from those. Um, Aravos from the Dragon Prince. People do have a kidnapping kink. That is true. I can see where they would get that appeal from in terms of Bowser then. He is a father. So I guess that would make him a dilf. If someone wanted to fuck him. But... Oh! I like looking at this person. I don't know what their gender is, and I really enjoy that. Oh my god, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Oh my god. Can I get a voice? Can I get a voice? Please. Speak. Ah. How long I have waited to hear the sound of another voice. How may I serve you? I'm not lying. I'm about to act up. I, I never lie. Oh my god. Tell me what you need, and I will help you. I. Erevos. I cannot keep. I can't. I can't do this. I cannot. That's a ten. This is embarrassing. This is. So embarrassing. Um, actually, let me go back to that real quick. Uh, and I will just save that for later. <laughs> um, I would just like to come back to this show. God, he's so... And y'all y'all saw that list. I do not give out tens lightly. I do... Actually, I do want to finish the video. I changed my mind. Oh, he's also a bug? Yeah. There's something that you he's want so very badly. Pretty. But who are these people? <laughs> well, I'll win it for them. Stop. It's over. God, he is way too pretty. I will stay with you. That whispering. Oh, no, I don't like that. I didn't like that he went in the ear, but that's just because I don't really like bugs very much. Um... This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Oh my god, someone clipped it. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. He's very- I'm like thrown. That was astonishingly attractive. Oh my god. Oh my god. He is a debug. Okay, good. It is the deep voice. I- Man, that really did it. That was great. That was really fun. Um. Whew. I am going to open up the well it won't let me can i download it as like a c how dare you guys show that to me 
Um, man, whoever whoever did that one, goddamn. Um, Vetra from Mass Effect Andromeda. I think I just have a thing for reptilian things. I'm not gonna like this then, am I? Yeah, yeah, you have good taste. You have good taste. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm, whew. Oh, okay, is that reptilian? Reptilian? Because, like, I don't really see... This doesn't look reptilian to me, but it does look kind of attractive. Um, I feel like I'd put that at a six or a seven. I definitely would. Um, I, I don't think that's, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to save that in personal. Um, there we go. Predator from Predator. I think I already did that. Tall vampire milf. Okay. Okay. I'll talk about Lady Dimitrescu. <sighs> yes, the tall vampire lady is going to be highly rated. Um, where would I put her? I feel like I put her at an eight. Like, just like a god, I really, really want you to like me back. I don't know that I, like, I would really want her. She's a vampire. Um, she's very scary, but she is very pretty and and so tall. So scary, scary knife hands. Very scary knife hands but very pretty lady. So, oh no, I just realized that's a Freddy Krueger indictment. <laughs> I want something to clip that. Oh my God. That is, that's, oh my God. I don't want to address that. <laughs> You're right, Mark did make an entire live stream about her. Oh my god. That I wish I didn't see that. Okay. Um another person said fungus maximus. Hey, do you guys hate me? Do you guys hate me? Yeah? Guess you do. Um the OG white diamond like the one who is really controlling and manipulative. Oh. What does she look like? I have seen Steven Universe but not in a while. Um no, god damn it. I forgot to specify that that's something else. Okay. Oh. Hot, tall, evil lady. Hot, tall, evil lady. Yeah, she's really pretty. She is very, very pretty. Skipping over a jaw. I'll go back to that. I don't know who that is, but I, I will go back to her. I, she's really pretty. And she does look a little evil and fun. Mm. I feel like if she gave me a coy look from across the cafeteria, I would blush. Um... How do you say that? Jal? Jal? I don't know how you say that. God, I'm having the time of my life with these. Y'all have great ideas. Pretty dictator woman. Um, what was this from? Oh, Mass Effect. Okay. She is pretty, but the personality sort of ruined it. Again, this is not about love or personality. Um, Garnet, thick. We love a MILF. We do love a MILF. Um, no. No. I feel like there's a lot of, like, weird fleshiness sort of going on here that I'm not really into. I really, I don't, I don't vibe. I feel really weird about that. Freddy and Hot Lady, thank you! Thank you very much, my clipping queen. Um, yeah, I feel like that's, I, I don't really like what that's, I don't like what he's bringing to the table. I don't. Um, Mike Sullivan... Are you fucking kidding me? Fine. Fine. Sully from Monsters, Inc. Evan says hi. Oh, wait. Lake and Evan, are you hanging out? Hi, guys. Um. Hey. Okay. Okay. Let's have a moment. Whoever requested Sully from Monsters, Inc., please step forward. Please speak up in the chat. I just want to talk to you. Please explain where you're coming from. Because I don't understand. That is so much fur. He is never horny. He is never sexy. Sully would spit on me and call me a slur. No! Okay, he's nice. He does have jock energy. He is a responsible father. That does not, off the bat, make him fuckable. 
It does not. It really doesn't. He did peak in high school. He does have that energy. Um, I'm just a shark. You were not the only one to say Randall from Monsters, Inc. That actually was also submitted to the Google form, the first one I did. Um, because apparently the choking scene, like, got people hot and bothered or whatever. And I really hated Randall growing up. So, anyway, absolutely not. Evan sent me to bully you in his absence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, Sully is just too much hair. Just too much in general, I think. Um, Ant-Man, but, like, the suit? That doesn't count. You know there's a man in there, and it doesn't fucking count. What's something that feels both gay and homophobic? Sully. Yeah. Um, Bowser, again. The werewolf from the movie Van Helsing. I already rated werewolves. What more do you want from me? Oh. Well. Well. Eh, I feel like it's very hairy. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I would, I feel like I would like a little wink, but I don't think I'd actually want to bang. Uh, Omnidroids from Incredibles? What the hell? What are you talking about? Omnidroids? Those? Those? Are you joking? Are you joking me? What are you talking about? Omnidroids? Randall gave young Stevie PTSD and now Stevie has a vendetta against the lizard people. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god. Um, you're purposely going Beastars. <laughs> no, I'm coming to Beastars. I'm, I'm gonna go back to it. I, uh, no, zero. That is a machine that I do not understand. I feel like there's no way in there. I don't really get it. Okay, for all you... Horny, 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 horny Beastars fans. Let's discuss. So, that's the man of the hour. Um, we got fan art. He's in a wife beater, which doesn't bode super well. Just kind of generally, I take issue with the show just because it has a lot of really salty vibes and themes. Also, I didn't like how they made the bunny sexy uh, at all. I didn't really like how they made any of these sexy. Um, the deer from this sh What's his name? You know the one. Him. I think I just like the fun slender face and the maturity. Um... Lagoshi is hot and he respects women. Hey, didn't he try to eat that girl at, in literally the first episode? I know the whole point of the show is that he's trying not to eat her, but it just feels creepy. Um, I, I, I don't really like him very much. I'm sorry. I, uh, anyway, hope you Beastars fans are happy. I don't really like him very much at all. Just kind of generally that show feels weird. Um, but if I had to choose, the deer is obviously more fuckable than Lugosi. So. Anyway, glad to lay that to rest. Twilight Princess, Minna, or Link. Is that... I feel like you were supposed to put some commas in between here, and I don't really know if Twilight Princess, Minna is one thing. The deer pinned the wolf against the wall and pried his mouth open in one scene, and even though I'm ace, I blushed. Oh my god. Well, that's nice. Beastars is furry twilight, but he just wants a snack. Um, Wolfman does look like he would beat someone up. Um, the Iron Man suit. What is up with you guys and going for the superhero suits, but not the heroes themselves? Like, I really don't get that at all. Oh, you sent me a, you sent me the link for, for Vaniv. Thank you. Paste that. Oh. He is technically naked, but doesn't really have any detail or anything. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to move him over here real quick. <laughs> just in case. Oh, he's like smooth as a Ken doll down there. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, he's smooth as a Ken doll down there. I don't really know what I'm supposed to work with, and I don't want to leave it there for very long, so I'm just going to exit that. <laughs> um, 
Wait, Stevie, is that what you go by? No, I've been calling you Stevie. No, I did not feel. No, I go by Stevie. I I go by Stevie. Was there another name for me? I'm a little confused. No, no, yeah, Stevie's what I go by. Um. Is he naked? Yes, but no. Wolf Link is a wolf. What? What are you guys talking about? I'll look up Wolf Link, but like. Uh, that's a wolf. That's a. That's a wolf. Yeah. Not you skipping fun time, Freddy. Listen, I... Okay, it won't pop up, but whatever. I rated all of the FNAF characters. This just goes for the whole cast. Zero. Zero. Um, do not vibe with that. There are literally kids in those suits. And I also don't like the animatronics. I do not find them attractive. Uh, anyway. Cotton Candy Monster, Scooby-Doo 2 live action. Bear Daddy, lovable vibes. Oh, on God? On God? Why would it- Oh, I misspelled it. My dumb ass. Him? Thank you very much, Google. Why the fuck is nothing popping up? Um, no. No. That's- Yeah, I, I, I want to be able to have more- discussion about this with you but i literally edible don't do that don't do them like that i really don't uh, yeah no there's nothing there there's nothing there for me to work with uh alistair you know i would like to talk about this man for a while because i am literally in love with him i know he was a serial killer in life but oh my fucking god i am going to act up um I, why is his, why is he shaped like that? Um, yeah. Yeah. I have nothing else to say. I, I feel like uh, I'm probably an Alistair Kinney, but I also uh, would just be absolutely wrecked by him at any given moment. Let me, I want to look up a voice clip. Y'all know I had to do it. Oh, Alistair's canonically ace. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that, but he did have that line. He did have that line rejecting Angel Dust for the- Gotcha. Well, at the same time, I don't know if it's- I don't know if Alistair rejecting one person would make him ace, or if he just wasn't into that person specifically. So, eh. Um, yes. Only when Alistair is on screen. Perfect. Oh, the creator said he's arrow ace. Okay, cool. Hello. May I speak now? Hey. Oh, it's a pleasure to be meeting you, sweetie. I love you so much. I saw your fiasco on a picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! I love that voice. I have been excited to the stock market crash of 1929. <laughs> I love so that. Stop right there. I know you do. Uh, I love his voice so much. He's stellar. Um, uh, someone just said he's ugly. So anyway, I wish you would leave my stream. <laughs> can we please review the Gravity Falls Weird Mageddon Demons? Yes, we can. Oh, I love that show. Um, Gravity Falls Weird Mageddon Demons. Uh, Bill Cipher. Oh, let me go back to this real quick. Bill Cipher is automatically up, up, up here at a 10. Because the fan art in the fan fiction is hot, and I love his voice. Um, Gravity Falls weird. Oh, well, this is very fun. Um, do you mean all of them? Because out of all of these, um, no, 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 no. Yes. Any questions? He's a cat boy. I hate cat boys. Do you see... Do you see her to- Zero vaporwave, zero. Do you want to rethink? Do you want to discuss? Rethink your hatred for cat boys. That's all. Um, he is a triangle. 
Listen, I know he's a triangle. Let me review the fan art with you, though. Let me review the fan art. Yes. From Entirely Bonkers Deviant Art. Um, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, I, I have nothing else to say. I just I just think he's delightful and very, very evil. Um, and I think he would not hesitate to kill me, and I also think that's very fun. Um, Stevie, back me up. I'm not hateable, right? You're not hateable. What am I looking at? Um, no, you're very much not hateable. You can't be. You're, you're a cat boy. Um, what was the one? Midna. Midna, who is that? Again from Zelda. What is up with you guys and being so horny for the... What am I looking at? That looks like a child. This is... Who am I looking at? Am I looking at, at, at this pretty lady? Or this fucking child? Is this just the fan art for it? No. Absolutely not. Um... Donatello. Okay, let me talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because that was actually on my list. Where are they? This was a bonus one. I do not feel good about this because they are turtles, but they are also humanoid turtles. But also, they are reptilian, and as we have previously established, I am not into that. Rate all four! <laughs> no, I do not know anything about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I plan to keep it that way. Um, Mikey's the best turtle. I wish I knew. Girl, I wish I knew. Um, I am going to leave them there. Um, oh, it's past 6.30. The fan art you were looking at was her true form. It was cursed by Zant and the game was turned into an imp. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, why is Shrek a two? Um, I am not attracted to him. If you'll note the description for number two, I can't think about it without vomiting in my mouth a little. <laughs> That's why Shrek is a two. Um, you better not. <laughs> Do not say <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle memes. Um, while, okay. I'm going to talk to my TikTok people real quick. Hello, I see people have been in and out during this stream. Um, I don't like what I just read about the turtle finishing. I don't like that. I don't like that very much. Um, <laughs> thank you all on TikTok for joining. Um, if you enjoyed this and you'd like to see it in more detail, come join on Twitch. It is in my link tree. Um, and yeah, it's honestly pretty much all I have to say to you guys. I don't really know if anybody stuck around seeing as all the cool visuals are, are on Twitch. Um, but really, really glad you guys popped by. Um, and I need to see how to end that on. Oh my God. Oh my God. There we go. Going to go ahead and end that. Thanks. There were 34 people in the TikTok live. Did people give me gifts? I've never been given gifts on TikTok before. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. Oh my god. Okay. That's really, really nice. Um, let's see. Thrawn, MHA. I do not want to rate any of the My Hero Academia characters because they're all humans. And I'm tired of people asking me to rate them because they're all humans. So no. The answer is no. Um, so what I'm going to do... Um... <laughs> Y'all are still recommending these. Okay. What I'm going to do, I am going to be streaming again. I will continue this list. I will also add um, your recommendations from that form. I will go ahead and add those so that we can all keep rating them together. Uh, and that will be sometime next week. I will be offline pretty much the entirety of this weekend for my, uh, for my anniversary with my partner. Um... Thank you guys so much for popping by. This was truly delightful. I would like to find that really sexy video of that guy from Dragon Prince. And I just want to use that audio to play us out. So, thank you guys very much. All my love. Speak God, I love his voice. Uh, and I'm going to try and raid one of my friend's streams while you are all still here. Her name is Stella Jo. I promoted her on TikTok. She's very delightful. She does uh, Stardew Valley content. Super delightful. But I have never tried to uh, rate a stream before. So I guess I'm about to learn how. So about to just play us out with the Dragon Prince. 
Uh, and thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. How long I have waited to hear the sound of another voice. How may I serve you? I'm not lying. I'm not a lie, perhaps. Tell me what you need. Thank you.